Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To start a mail merge in Publisher, create or open your new mail merge publication and then click the Mailings tab within the ribbon. Then click the Mail Merge drop-down button in the Start Button group. From the Buttons drop-down menu, choose the Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge Wizard command. This will lead you through the process of creating a mail merge publication step-by-step. -step. This will also open up the Mail Merge task pane at the right side of the publication window. Here you read the information provided and answer the questions posed to you, and then click the Next hyperlink at the bottom of the pane to continue through the mail merge process until you are finished. In the first screen of the Mail Merge pane, you must create a recipient list. If you already have a list, such as a Microsoft Office address list, or an Excel spreadsheet that you wish to use for the merge, then select the Use Existing List option. If you choose this option, then you will need to select the data source from the Select Data Source dialog box that appears when you click the Next button. This dialog box will open up and display the contents of a default folder so you may need to navigate to the folder in which your actual data source is stored. Once you have found the list that you want to use as your data source, double-click it to select it and return to the task pane. Note that you may need to select a specific table from the database or select a specific sheet from a workbook if you are using either an Access Database or Excel workbook as a data source. Once you have selected the data source you will be using, you will see the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box appear. You can use this dialog box to filter and sort the recipient information. We will examine how to use this dialog box in a separate lesson. However, once that has been done, you can click the OK button in the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box to close it and return to the task pane. If you wanted to use information from an Outlook Context folder versus an existing list, then select the Option button for the Select from Outlook Contacts. This will launch Microsoft Outlook. In Outlook, you will need to select the Contacts folder you will use as the data source. Once you have selected the Contacts folder you will be using, you will again see the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box appear, where you can filter and sort the data from the data source. Once again, we will cover the use of this dialog box in a separate lesson, as it is fairly extensive. Once you have finished using the box, click the OK button to return to the Mail Merge task pane. You could also create a new list of mail merge information to use by selecting the Type a New List option in the task pane and then clicking the Next Create or Connect to a Recipient List hyperlink. Publisher then prompts you to create a new list for the mail merge in the New Address List dialog box. We will cover how to create and edit a data source on the fly in a separate lesson. However, once you have created and saved the new list, the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box will appear again. As mentioned before, we will use this dialog box to filter and sort the data used by the Mail Merge publication. This will also be covered in a separate lesson. Once you have finished sorting and filtering the data using this dialog box, click the OK button to return to the task pane. In the next step of the Mail Merge wizard, you create the static or unchanging information that will appear directly in the Mail Merge publication. You also use the available merge fields and hyperlinks in the Mail Merge task pane to insert various fields of information from your data source into your publication at the desired positions. To insert merge fields that represent data from your data source, you can click and drag the fields that appear in the Prepare Your Publication list. Also note that when you have a text box selected on screen, you can simply click on the desired merge field name shown within this list to add it to the next available line within the selected text box. Note that this will also apply to any text containing shapes as well as text boxes. You can also click the hyperlinks in the More Items section to insert other blocks of merge fields into your publications. If you have a data source that contains a picture field, you can click the Picture Field hyperlink in this section to open up the Insert Picture Field dialog box. Here you can select the name of the field that contains the file names of the pictures you want to insert from the list shown and then click the OK button to insert them into the publication. Note that if you simply need to insert some address information, you can click the Address Block hyperlink in the task pane 
to open up the Insert Address block dialog box. Here you can select what elements of the address to insert, and then click the OK button to insert the selected address elements. You could also click the greeting line in order to open up the Insert Greeting Line dialog box. Here you can choose from several letter openings for your mail merge publication. Once again, then click OK to return to the task pane. To preview the merge results, ensure that the Preview Results toggle button in the Preview Results button group in the ribbon is toggled on. And then just click the arrow buttons in this same button group. You can use the First Record, Previous Record, Go To Record, and Next Record buttons in this button group to scroll through the preview of the merge results. When you have previewed the results, click the Next Create Merge Publications hyperlink at the bottom of the Mail Merge task pane to continue. In the last screen of the Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge Wizard, you can select the desired printing options for the merge publication in the Create Merged Publications section. You can also prepare to follow up on this mailing. To print the Mail Merge publication, just click the Print button at the top of the Mail Merge task pane to open up the Print window within the Backstage view. Here you can set your printing options, which also includes selecting the range of records in the data source to print. You will also see a print preview of the merge publication that you can review at the far right section of the Backstage view. When you are ready to print the publication, click the Print button to print the selected records. If you wish to make individual changes to different items in the Merge Results set, then you can click the Merge to a New Publication hyperlink. This will immediately create a new publication that contains the merge results. This is the output publication that is often created during the merge process. In the New Publication window that appears, you can make changes to the individual items in the Results set if you wish. You can also print the new output publication along with any individual editing changes that you have made to complete the merge. You can also add the merged pages as a separate output that you can attach to the end of an existing publication. To do this, click the Add to Existing Publication hyperlink. This will open up the Open Publication window where you can select the existing publication to which you want to append the result set. In the Prepare to Follow up on this mailing section, you can click the Print Recipient List hyperlink to print a copy of the data source. This is very useful as a double check for mailings that you may send to ensure that the recipients receive the mailing. You can click the Save a Shortcut to Recipient List hyperlink to create and save a shortcut to the recipient list used for the mail merge. You can also click the Export Recipient List to a New File hyperlink to export the recipient list as a new data source file that you can use. When you have finished with your mail merge, you can close the mail merge task pane by clicking the X in the upper right corner. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.